I had a friend who doesn't have children ask me, why do you keep it a secret? Why do you not reveal to people who haven't had kids yet what the true reality is? Why is it that every time I walk up to you when you're talking about something awful about childbirth or motherhood, you always clam up and say, it'll be fine. You're going to have a great baby that sleeps and some natural labor that's painless and don't worry. She's like, why perpetuate the lie? Why not just be honest with me about what it's going to be like? It's such a good question. And it does feel like a conspiracy. Because nobody says, oh, you're pregnant? I hope you don't rip all your abdominal muscles when later parts of your pregnancy and then have a crash C-section like I did. I mean, okay, a few jerks do say that. I mean, it's so jerky to reveal some of the seamier underbelly parts of of having a baby, of, of gestating a baby, of raising a two- or three-year-old. It feels like a secret. Why is that? Why do we keep it so under wraps? And I I recognize that this is a gross exaggeration, but my the analogy that comes to mind for me is war. Like I'm thinking of a civil war person who's 18 years old, a, a young boy, an 18-year-old boy signs up to go to war. And no one says, hey, I hope you don't get your arm blown off. You know, people are really like grave and serious and we're so proud of you and that'll be, I hope that it's everything you want it to be. But if you reveal, and war is a bad example because it's kind of only generally bad things are going to happen to somebody who's going off to fight for their country I and mean, it's not going to be, there's not some grand positive side to it other than the, the patriotism and the camaraderie. So we do have the camaraderie in the motherhood side, but we also get these spectacular people out of it. I think the best example is that, okay, I've had a lot of years of shitty things. It's true. Uh, getting pregnant was annoying and get and miscarrying was beyond annoying and my labors were none of my none of my pregnancies were one of those I love pregnancy I just glow I'd like to have as many babies as possible just so I can be pregnant all the time not one cotton picking minute was like that and and then I had I I was very lucky to have three babies but dang they were hard work very energetic, very uh, constantly needing additional stimulus type babies. Did not sleep. Did not sleep. And they also cried all the time. I went to the farmer's market today, and one of the vendors said to me, Erica, your children aren't crying anymore. And I was like, I know. Don't mess it up. They don't cry all the time anymore. It used to be that no, no matter where we were in public, one of my children, and it varied which one, one of my children would always be crying. So, let's see, my oldest is almost eight, so that's a lot of years of shitty things. Of course there are marvelous things. I mean, holding your child for the first time, thinking of a name for a person, it's, it's glorious. Many exciting parts, but a lot of crappy things, and there's really no need to lay that on a woman who's just getting married, is excited to start a family. I mean, what is the purpose of laying all that garbage on her and saying, you're going to go to the farmer's market for seven years and someone will be screaming the entire time? So what is the purpose of keeping it under wraps, for keeping it so uh, idealized until people actually become parents? Um, we don't, I, I joked with her that it was a continuation of the species, that nobody would want to have children if they knew that things could be shitty, but I gotta tell you, I'm on the other side, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm on the other side now in terms of kids with whom I can reason, in general, uh, people who give me feedback, people who do not scream and cry at the farmer's market, even though they are legitimately hungry and tired. On the other side, you get to hang out with these little buddies who look a little bit like you sometimes and and have say hilarious things and sing along and actually my oldest child sang harmony with me today for an extended period of time I mean juicy so 
I guess it's impossible to say how, all the crappy things, but it's also really hard to describe the glory, the marvelousness that occurs on the other side. It's just a pretty big hill. And if you told somebody at the beginning of the hill, like, this is a big hill, and you're going to be really mad and tired, and you're not even going to be close to the summit, good luck. That's not very encouraging. It's more like, you know what? This is a big, mysterious hill, and we're all trying to get up it. And I think you've got the right stuff to do it, too. And I'll be here with you. I'll be calling to you from closer to the top, going, you can do it. I know it's crappy. But ultimately, it's so worth it. It's marvelous. And it's indescribable, the journey that goes up and down that hill. And I'm just happy to have other people on it with me.